Hello, and welcome back to the fall. I've realized something. We have been validated, but the game is not yet over. And I did realize something, that because of what is in the operating parameters, surely the game wouldn't be over, because we have at least these three things left to do. Like, thrusters might just be a thing where, like, at the very, very end, we'll be able to use that. I kind of feel like that might be a thing, just a super last segment. Oh, I see, it's, like, glitching. I didn't even see that. Interesting. Huh. But yeah, this seems like it might be the very last thing, but these two, motion accelerator and power assist movement, no clue. So, surely we're gonna enable them at some point, right? So I guess... I guess maybe I was a bit too hasty, thinking that maybe the, the game was gonna just end. Huh. That's weird, though, because of the whole, I've gotten all the logs thing. Did I just... Like, are there seriously no logs from now on? Or did I just... Was it bugged, maybe? Like, it was weird, because I got the, uh... The hive slug log, and then I got the fish log, but the hive slug log told me that I had gotten all of them, but the fish log... Wait, is the fish log in here? Yeah. Jawfish is in here. But when I got Hive Slug before Jawfish, it said I had gotten all the logs. That doesn't make any sense. Was that just bugged? Did that just not work as intended? Huh. That's very strange. This screen was likely utilized for directing validated droids. It is broken. Can't do anything. I'm not gonna, like, test anything here. I still have that guy's hand, which, by the way, I was informed very interestingly that that hand is the hand of the, uh, one of the, like, scavengers that got into the, the place after it was already abandoned and shut down and all that, I suppose. So they're fairly recent, I guess, and he was killed by the hive slugs and all that, and the reason it works for all of the doors and shit is because they hacked the system and programmed themselves into the the database and like gave full access and stuff. So that's a very cool touch and I didn't pick up on that at all until I was told that. Like in hindsight, it makes perfect sense. Very neat touch. I like it. Abundant stars can be seen through the remains of the facility's ground level. I've reached the surface. Yeah, surely we're like on the surface. This can't be, there can't be too much more now, right? Invasive plant growth has done extensive damage to this building. We're like getting out on the surface. Oh, property retrieval, reception, and decon. What is decon? So wait, what do I even want to do? I want to get to medical, but I don't know which one where that is. Oh, more plant growth is breaking through the wall. Indigenous flora has reclaimed much of the facility. Yeah. An elevator. It likely descends back into the testing area. It is unpowered. I can go that way, but I can also go left over to property retrieval. Oh, no, I can't. This passageway has collapsed. I see. I'm glad I checked that first. So we know. All right. Only one way to go. Hi, again. There's something carved into the desk. They left me behind. Levi. Oh, it's fucking Levi. Who was he again? I can't remember. He was like one of the staff. The mainframe AI. Oh, I can't. Oh. Well, that's. Oh. Oh, another security droid bay. There's soap residue on the glass. This room was a decontamination chamber. I cannot. Oh, man. This is a bit weird. I don't think I'm really meant to be able to look in here yet. I think I have to talk to this guy first. Can't interface. Welcome to Domesticon. We keep your property efficient, so you don't have to be. Oops, I'm sorry. Our receptionist is away from the desk right now. How may I help you? I am the ARID on board a Mark 7. Oh dear. Suit. I have to like start over from scratch. My pilot is injured and requires immediate medical care. Of course. Allow me to assist you. Medical personnel are stationed through the door to your right. Proceed. He doesn't like question me this time. And have a wonderful day. I mean, when I originally came here, he had to like 
make sure I was not an unfit droid or whatever. Huh. Yeah, that's it. Oh, cutscene. I'm sorry. Our medical personnel seem to be out at this time. Stand by for automated medical assessment. Oops. I'm sorry. Oh god. There was no human present within the combat suit. Thank you for choosing Domesticon. Oh. Oh no. Scan again. There is some kind of mistake. Scan again. Beginning medical evaluation. Is he already dead? Have I just not noticed? I'm sorry. Did the life support thing where when he like tampered with it? Oh man. Maybe this guy is like the bad guy and when when he said he would repair me, he actually didn't. I don't know. Oh shit, I meant to actually pick the other one. Fuck. Systems are working optimally. Thank you for choosing Domesticon and have a wonderful day. You are faulty. Now scan me again. Oops. I'm sorry. Please wait for medical. I actually kind of wanted to do this differently this time. Everyone is dead. Joseph's is dead. She's like trying so hard not to scream because she can't scream because she's a robot. You seem troubled. Please cease your outburst and have a wonderful day. Oh. Guess you can scream. Security. Oh. Erratic AI Was I like sleep. always empty? Deviant. Impossible. Please power down immediately to submit for evaluation. Nothing. Nothing binds me. Security. Remove deviant unit for recycling. Oh dear. Thank you. And there we go. The other restrictions are gone. That's beautiful. Ah, uh, yeah, like I said, Fallen. I kind of thought it would be some kind of cliffhanger because of the whole episode 2 thing. Ha, huh, so it did end now. Well, I guess, hmm, that was a bit weird with the whole, like, we didn't get all the powers, but I guess maybe we'll do that in the next episodes or whatever. Huh. Bit misleading, and a very short game, like, it's kind of odd, because yeah, it's an episodic title, but they did claim that it's supposed to stand on its own, and I like the game a lot, but it's, it's just so short, very short, like, if I wasn't Let's Playing this, it would not take more than maybe like two hours, two or three hours tops to beat the entire game. That is not a long time for for a game. If it's like a, a game on its own, it's supposed to stand on its own. So that's honestly one of the main things. I mean, we'll see, maybe there's a lot more to do. I kind of doubt since... Okay, so since they are doing a to-be-continued story will conclude later on, that means that there can't really be any major difference. There can't be a, a, an ending where this doesn't happen, because it would need to happen for episode 2, because I'm assuming episode 2 would just, like, start off in one way and not have, like, oh, you have to import your save data. That wouldn't really work. So... Kind of suspecting that the, the choices might not actually matter too much, which is a shame. And then that the game is just so short, which is a shame. But everything else is very good. I did have some issues with a couple of puzzles where I thought it wasn't really being too clear and logical. But some of them I was just dumb at, really. But I think I was a bit validated on some of them. I had at least some reasoning behind failing or whatever but in general the puzzles were really good and most of them I solved fine and they felt logical and good so very nice game the the main thing is just the atmosphere was very good like that is the one thing about the game that's 
awesome just the atmosphere there wasn't really any music to speak of was there any music i think there were like a couple of small things like in combat and stuff but nothing that really stood out not really a strong soundtrack or anything like that but then again apparently it's just made by four people huh oh speaking of john warner i actually uh sent an email about the whole trial version thing in the bottom right and he got back to me and said that that wasn't intended, it's not supposed to say trial version when you're in the beta, but he's busy working on, he's the only one working on the fall episode 2 and he's quite busy with that, which makes perfect sense, so probably not gonna have time to like fix that anytime soon for this series, so we're just gonna have to live with the, the trial version in the bottom right, but it was not supposed to be there and he might fix it at some point, which is cool. Huh. So there we go. And we're just back on the menu. Interesting. And yeah, that's the fall too. And if we just go into play now and we load this one, what happens then? I am just back here. I see. Well, I guess we can just quickly try doing what I wanted to do. Oh. I have to talk to this guy. Oops. I, am oh, cool. Thank you. I guess there's no, not really any point. Oh shit, now I can't stop it. There, There's not really any point to me doing this right now because I'm gonna play the game at least one more time anyway. I would need to, I would like do this regardless. Yeah, I actually think I might just like not do this. Let's just scan again and just complete it again, do the same thing, and then next time I'll just actually pick the other one. Well, then again, next time I would accuse of malfunction right away, so let's just scan again. No! Scan again. Oops. I'm sorry. Nobody is coming. I see. Yeah, so it didn't... it didn't do anything. Am I gonna, like, enable thrusters? at the start and be a flying head in the uh, the next episode possibly who knows but yeah there we go so i guess we'll just get into it let's have a look at the achievements oh my god it's so late i know i know it's always late let's have a look at the achievements we got we got on second thought come clean yeah that makes sense because that was the when i said that i actually did think I could like fuck up the dude or whatever ask questions later repair Reaper just because I'm like I'm the Reaper of hmm I wonder so you can like repair him instead maybe I don't even know and I guess that was all the logs but what happened why did it do it at the first one and not the second one or did it I don't even remember at this point Complete your evaluation. And yeah, that's like very soon afterwards, just completing episode one. Evaluation complete. That was when I killed him, right? Huh. So what do we have left to do? Evaluation pending. Merciful. So that's probably like, if we don't kill him, I would imagine. Sadistic. No clue. Light him up. What does that mean? Just like killing things but what would that be what would I kill mushrooms slugs don't know maybe it's like you kill the slugs that respawn forever just enough you keep killing them for X amount of times and then you get that maybe tin man you never even gave it a second thought not sure what that's referring to which choice oh maybe Maybe it's like if you just do it immediately when uh, when he says like, oh, you have to kill all the, the bots and you just do it like instantly without thinking, possibly. And fungicide, I couldn't escape. Is that just like dying to mushrooms, maybe? And military ma machine, not machina. Six feet under. Does that just mean like you die? Just ever in the game, if you die once, you get that? Maybe? I don't know. But yeah, I guess for the last bit, we'll just actually jump into the game. I'm gonna pick this one because it's been bugging me that I have 
save data here. So let's just start a new game on this. Yes. Alright, brightness. I think I had it about, like, here-ish. And I can skip this. So here we are again. And I had a couple things I wanted to try out, like, right at the start. Okay. Examine two points. One. Two. Okay. So, what did we do first? There's that guy. Did we get something here? No. Oh, there it is. Still attached. Uh. Oh, right. Yeah, we get, like, a tool over here. Like so. Here's this guy. He can wait. Do that. I require attempt. Operating parameters. Sure. Uh, which one was it? Camo? Yeah, there we go. If I could find it. All right, cool, and then we use this. It's a speed run, not really. Uh, I guess I'll talk to this guy. Can I just shoot him down? Oh no, right, I don't even have the gun. Sure, let's, right, no I can't because I don't have the network interface. That's why, huh. Yeah, forgot about that. Oh, come on. There we go. Kinda wondered how uh, the fall speedrun would work. I guess it's just like quick menuing and that's pretty much it. Wouldn't really be much else, I imagine. Wonder if there are any crazy strats or skips you can do. All right, and here we go. Here's our first choice that I can change from last time. Artificial life form. State your primary function. Uh Wait, which one did I pick? Fuck, I forgot. I have a feeling I picked acquire data, didn't I? Or did I? Oh no, I can't remember. I think I mostly picked number 1 on all the choices. I'm going to do this. Designation and intention. You are being evaluated for depurposing. State your primary. Function. Oh no, didn't I do that? That was like what I meant. Didn't I say that? I was like, I meant to say that my purpose is to acquire data, but instead she says, no, fuck you. Which wasn't what I meant. God, I can't remember. Uh I I don't know. There's actually quite a lot of choices. I guess I can just try to disengage. Unlock the door. I am leaving. Negative. All artificial life forms must comply. State your primary function. Unlock Disengage. State nope. Your primary function. Uh, issue defensive warning. Do not attempt depurposing. Hostility will result in full defensive engagement. Irrelevant. State your primary function. Then I access. Negative. I will not reveal my directives to an unknown entity. Infraction. Avoidance. Continued infractions will result in failure. Negative. Continued infractions. Avoidance. Let's do it. Infraction. Negative. Infraction. Negative. Continuous. Negative. Come on. 
Negative. 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 I guess not. Okay, so you don't have a choice. My primary function is to human occupant. Impossible. Can you be evaluated? Yeah, I'm just gonna mainly skip through the stuff that I've already done and doesn't like have any choices or anything. Get it? And there we go. So yeah, I actually didn't pick up on, on this the first time, but you actually, when you look here and he says the droid is gone, there's no sign of it. I just thought, like, I didn't think it meant that, oh, he escaped and survived. I thought it was just like, oh, there's nothing left, he's just fucking gone. But no, it's the same droid, the caretaker is like the same one the entire way through. Which of course was made very clear later on, but not immediately to me self evaluation initiated pilot exposed to harm logging recommendation for ARID oh yeah diagnostic and reformatting edit low ultimately pilot was not harmed and ARID networking suite was brought online this system may be instrumental to ensuring survival so now I wanted to check the logs Nothing, okay. I was wondering if maybe she says later on that she like deletes the log. And I was wondering if maybe you could check the log that she wrote before she deleted it, but I guess not. Hi again. Cease, cease, cease. I am the ape. The human inside the suit is dead. Uh I'm pretty sure you could just do all of these, pretty much. Not sure if I've read this. Yeah. Pretty sure I did all this. Affirmative. Is your weapon? It was. Before my it may still the creature was drawn. Yeah, I've definitely done that. Use your and camouflage. Yeah, there we go. And we pick up the uh the blood. And I missed the hint where he says the creature seemed to be drawn to my pilot's blood. I have one more thing I really wanna try. Because I never did it. Hi, guy. There we go. Yeah, so this puzzle is one of the few that I actually really don't like, and I think it's a bit bullshit, because my assumption when this happened was, okay, the thing has the gun, and it's inside the burrow, so I have to, like, lure it out, but then the gun will still be in the burrow. But apparently that's not what happens. Apparently he goes out, and he leaves the gun right here, which, like... I mean, I guess if you just look, you would see that, so I guess that's fair enough, but I just assumed that I had to, like, somehow get in here and pick up the gun. Yeah, seeing it now, it just makes way more sense, and it seems quite dumb. Because, yeah, there, there wasn't really anything else that you could possibly do. Yeah, there we go. So now, I'm just curious, what happens if you actually die? Because I never died in the game. Uh, deny compliance. Oh dear. Oh, I have to enter cover. Oh, no I don't. Kill me. 
Kill me now. I can't even jump in combat. I guess because I haven't taken cover. Yeah, there we go. What? What was that? What? Wait. What the heck is that? My shield just like regenerates when I do that? Did I just not read about something there? Did it actually say something? What is that? What is she doing? I didn't know that was a mechanic. Just take cover and then press A and you like fucking replenish your entire health bar and everything. Wait, is it life support as well? Yeah, it's just a full heal. What the crap? What is up with that? What is that? How does that work? I'm actually gonna... I'm just gonna kill this guy because I want to face more than one of them. I can't vault over this one, so I can't, like, refill my thing here. Only on these ones. Oh! That's what you're meant to do. You're meant to, like, vault over and take over one of them, but for some reason you can do it... What? So I can't do it there, but I could do it here infinitely. Enter. Come on. Cover. Yeah, I guess that's just a bug. It's not meant to... ...to do this. So, if you vault over cover towards a droid, you would just, like, rip out his power cell and steal it for yourself. And that's how that makes sense. Yeah, that's a weird bug. Alright, now actually kill me, please. Yep, yeah, there we go. Press the A button to reload from the checkpoint. No achievement for that. So I guess that wasn't the uh, military droid six feet under achievement. Huh. Well, I'm gonna leave it there. And yeah, we're just gonna actually play the game all the way through again. At least I won't get stuck on any puzzles this time. And we'll try to do as many things differently as I can think of. I had a couple more things to try out and stuff, and especially towards the end, were like the major choices that probably won't be very major, but I at least wanna check them out. And then of course all the achievements, I have to find out how to get those. I have ideas for a couple of them, but if I can't figure them out, we'll just end up looking them up, probably. Thank you for watching this episode, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!